Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Happy tutorial Wednesday. How's everyone doing tonight? How has your week been so far? Hey everyone, how are you? We are live. Happy Wednesday, February 20th. If this is your first time here, my name is Katrina and I am the owner of Cookie Artist here at Dots and Bows Cookies. Welcome, welcome. I hope everybody's doing well tonight. Hey Belinda, here I am, I'm here. Hey guys, how are you? Okay, so tonight um, we're kind of in this, I don't wanna say a weird spot, it's not really, it's not weird, but um, different spot because we're done with Valentine's Day, right? And Easter's a good ways off. So I wanted to just play around with a couple different things. And um, I figured why not play around with some of the new Sweet Sugar Bell Cutters that I got in the new set, the Animal Shapeshifter set. And I thought it would be cute if we just did some little woodland creatures. So tonight we're going to be, which you can probably guess by seeing this one. Um, hey guys, hey Loretta. Hey Tina, hey Kelly, hey everybody. Um, tonight we're going to be doing um, a little doe, a little deer here. And then we're also going to be doing a cute little hedgehog, which you can see I did a little bit of sketching, didn't like how I did it, went back over it. Not a big deal. We're going to be covering that with icing. But sometimes I like to play around with it and see like, okay, which way do I want to do this? So um, that is what we are going to be doing. Hey Tracy, welcome. Um, I am here every Wednesday night. Every Wednesday night we are here and I do a cookie tutorial or some sort, you know, something related to cookies. If I'm not decorating cookies, I'm, you know, giving you tips on doing all kinds of other stuff. Oh, you're doing Mardi Gras cookies? Awesome. Hey, Becky. Hey, Lori. Hey, Angela. Hey, guys. Okay. So the first thing we're going to start out with, hey, Patricia. You do, Allie? You have a friend, you have an order for these? Yeah, it's a pretty popular thing right now. That's why I figured it'd be cute to kind of do something like this. Um, I've done a few orders myself that have done woodland creatures. It's a really kind of a big deal right now, especially with like baby showers and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so the first one we're going to be working on is our little deer here. And we're going to do this in, you know, different steps. If you've ever watched, you know, royal icing decorated cookies you have to do in steps. Um... Well, you do if you want to give them any kind of definition anyway. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? You just bought these, Julie? Yeah, it's a really cute set. When I saw it come out, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to try that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, we are going to go ahead and do the insides of the ears. And yes, Pat, both of these are tonight are from the Animal Shapeshifter set. Um, we're going to do the insides of the ears, and I thought it would be cute to give them a little bit of sparkle since this is going to be a little doe deer. How's everybody faring up there in the Midwest with all the snow and everything? Hey, Linda. How's everybody doing with that? I know a lot of y'all in the Midwest had a, a snowstorm going through yesterday. Oh, you have this set, Pat? Awesome. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and put in the code word, that will take you to some fun links to our website, um, products that I use here tonight, products I've ever used in other lives, um, just a bunch of information. So, hey, Angela. Um, so I figured we'd do something cute. I'm going to use some of this. This is called Cotton Candy Pink. Um, I got it from the Cookie Countess. It's a jewel dust. Um, I figured it'd be cute to just do a little bit of sparkle here on the insides of her ears. So I'm going to give her a little bit. And the reason why I'm doing this first, if I would have iced around there, the little pink jewel dust, you can see how pretty that is, right? The pink jewel dust would have went all over everything else. And I really just want that sparkle to be contained to the insides of her little ears there. You got five inches of snow today, Kelly? So sometimes I'm like, oh, I miss living in the Midwest and, you know, getting more of the season changes because we get a little bit here in Texas, but not, you know, like the Midwest. And then sometimes I'm like, mm, no, no, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. 
Hey, Diane, how are you? So yeah, I don't envy y'all. Um, I couldn't do it anymore. I'm acclimated to warmer climates now, and I just don't think I can make it. Okay, I'm also going to go down here. I don't want to fill, this is going to be brown up here, and you can see kind of where I just did a little bit of a line there to see what I wanted to do. Um, this is going to be filled in with brown, um, but we don't want to do that yet. I want this pink to set up just a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and flood in the bottom of part of her face, which is going to be with white. Yeah, Sugar Bell, I believe, does make the spray dust. I got to be honest with you, I have never used them yet. I've seen them in the store. I've seen them in Michael's. Um, I have never tried them. I use Jewel Dust a lot because I am like sparkly things. Um, but yeah, I've never tried the Sugar Bell. If any of you guys have and you wanted to comment about what you thought of them, you can go for that. I just have never had the time yet to mess around with them. Now, for the deer's eyes, I'm going to actually use some little dragees tonight, some black um, sprinkles. I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, on the hedgehog, we won't. We'll just do eyes in regular icing. Hey, Dad. I know, Brianna. I know. We've had a ton of rain here, and it's supposed to rain again, like, tomorrow night, and I think Friday and maybe Saturday morning. That's around our area. So, yeah, it's been crazy. Okay, so I'm going in. Here's what the little black dragees look like. They're just little black sprinkles, basically little balls. Um, so that's what I'm going to use for her eyes. Oops. And these are by PME. Um, I get them at my local cake and cookie um, shop supply here near us. Um, but you can order them online at a few different places. And I use these little handy tweezers where I just pick them up and then I can place them. But these are really handy if you're not... Um, game for wanting to do eyes so much yet or um, maybe even if you are but you just want to do something easy or something a little different these are really cute to use super easy thank you Pat okay uh, let's see oh you bought it today and wondered how it was yeah I haven't used it yet Belinda you did not you didn't get the snow oh well that's good Um, Tracy, the animals, what will happen when you type animals, it'll go to your Facebook um, messenger inbox. So after you're finished watching the live, um, you can go check in there and follow the prompts inside the messenger. And it will take you, um, give you some options there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move her. I'm actually going to pop her in the dehydrator really quick while we start on our hedgehog. It'll just get our process moving a little bit quicker here. Um, so let me pop her over and then I will answer a couple questions. I don't use a dehydrator a whole lot, but on the lives it really helps too because it gets everything kind of moving. Um, so these particular ones are by Fiskars. I think I got these at Michael's or something um, at one point. I've had them for a while. Um, they're just the kind, they're closed until you squeeze them and they open. So they're really great with, you know, picking up little bitty sprinkles and things like that but there's a ton of places I'm sure that have them yeah Belinda it is I, I get pressure headaches really bad so when the systems and stuff move through I get migraines and it's just uh, it's been really bad uh, Loretta says could you do a demo on pressure piping sometime oh yeah for sure yeah we can probably do that in the crew too Loretta we can work on that so um, if anybody doesn't know just because I was just talking about it, you may be like, what are you talking about? Um, we have a, I have a cookie crew. It's a monthly tutorial subscription group where I give in-depth, detailed cookie decorating tutorials. So if you're interested in that and you want to throw in animals in the comments, you'll get some links to read about that. And if you're interested, you can sign up. Our doors are open right now. And they'll be open for a little bit longer until they close again until next month. Um, Barb, pressure piping... Um, is when you are, um, like for instance, one type of pressure piping is like when you are doing, um, like writing on a cookie. Um, pressure piping is when you squeeze the bag to give it a little bit more pressure at some point, and then you let up on the pressure as you're doing, as you're coming back down. There's like, like different lettering you can do that way, but there's a lot of different designs you can do with pressure piping. Um, so that's what she means by that. 
Okay, so the first color I'm going in with, this is going to be the little part here on his belly, like a little inner part, and this is just an ivory color. This is ivory by Americolor, I believe. Yeah, the Yaya's Club. I know, right? Pat, are you going to be um, with us during the tutorial, during our class tomorrow night? Didn't know if you had anything going on or if you were going to be there. I love every month when I get to see everyone's cookies after the class because every single month I cannot believe, not that I doubt you guys, but I'm just like blown away every month. I'm like, wow, these people, you guys do such a good job every month. Okay. So there's his little ivory belly. So then let's do this. Um, I don't want to do his feet down here because they're going in this. I know it looks crazy. It's because I was sketching over the top of some I didn't like. Um, I don't want to do his feet because it's going to, it touches, it touches this wet icing. So we're not going to do that part yet. Um, I think what we can do is we'll go ahead and do the outer part of him, the darker brown. Yay, Pat, you're going to be there. Okay. Belinda, who are you watching? Remind me, who is your team again? I don't think um, we played tonight. We lost last night. I don't think our team plays tonight. We're big hockey fans here. But you'll have to remind me who your team is. And just to let you guys know, in case it happens while we're live, because it happened today in our cookie crew, um, we did a little live in there for our icing prep. Oh, the Red Wings, that's right. I knew you had told me that. Um, Facebook's been acting a little bit funky. For some reason, it's been having a lot of interruptions during lives, and it'll come on and say, like, broadcast interrupted. I'm not sure what's going on with it. Um, it's we've reported it to Facebook. Um, I just don't know. I don't know what the situation is with it. Um, so just in case it happens, check back. If it completely drops our live, I will start a new one immediately. But if it freezes up, unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do about it. It's been happening on a lot of different lives. I follow a lot of different people and watch a lot of lives and it's happened to everyone. So it's something going on with Facebook. It's super annoying. And it makes me mad. I mean, today it like completely dropped my life. Just completely. Just done. Like, you're done. And I was like, okay. Perfect. Great. Okay. So there's the little outer part of him. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to wait on these two parts to crust over just a bit before we go in and start filling in his body and then his feet. I know, right? Trying to put ads in. That's what I said. I was like, who knows? You know, I'm like, half the time I'm like, I have a love-hate with Facebook. Because I love Facebook. It's a great platform. But at the same time, I'm like, ugh, Facebook, really. Get it together. I mean, come on, man. Alright, I'm going to pop him in. Let's check on our deer because it doesn't take long at all for that to crust over a bit. Hey, Geraldine. So let me move this over and grab our deer. he's crusting over a bit we can move on so this is obviously not completely dry at all it's barely dry but if you can see it's not as shiny as it was before well this part this part's always going to be shiny because we have jewel dust on it um but it's crusted over enough that we can come in here with our brown and we can safely do that without you know really messing anything up so i'm going to go in with the same brown that i just used with mr hedgehog and I'm going to turn this just a little bit because it's a little easier for me to have it at an angle. Thanks, Belinda. Yeah, it's cute, right? 
She's a cute little deer. And there's so many flips you can do with these cutters. That's why I like them too. I mean, just when you get it on the Sweet Sugar Bell box, they give you, you know, different options. You can do like two different options you can do um, with each cutter. But really, I mean, if you use your imagination, there's like a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of different um, animals you can create. Probably even non-animal items, I would assume, if you really got creative. Hey, Rosa. Okay. So there's the brown part on our little Miss Deer. So I think I'll probably be safe while we're letting that crust up a bit and we're letting Mr. Uh, Porcupine or Hedgehog or whatever, Hedgehog I guess is what we're doing, right? Um, hedgehog crust over a bit. We can go ahead and go in here and we can probably go ahead and add the nose. Um, like I said, it's not super, super, super dry, but it's starting to crust. Um, Belinda, these are the Animal Shapeshifter set. It's one of the newer sets by Sweet Sugar Bell. I ordered mine from Flower Box Bakery, and that's the link that we put in there tonight for that set. Um, she carries all the Sugar Bell, Sugar Bell products, but there's quite a few people online, um, shops online and stuff like that that sell it as well. Okay, so I'm going to come up here, and I'm just going to do a little black nose. Okay. And once the white crust over a little bit, we're going to add some cute like little eyelashes. We're going to do a little mouth, um, but it has to crust over just a bit more. So let's see here. I am, are they selling out fast? Oh, thanks, Angela. Yeah, we have a ton of links in there. A Noah's Ark cookie cutter? I don't think so. I have a ton of animals. I mean, I could probably create something, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. Let me move this over. All right, let's check because like I said, I have this turned up pretty high um, just to let it crust over that much faster. ahead and flood him in because he's obviously still pretty wet but I think we're going to be okay to flood in a different area here so now I have this is the same by the way this is the same brown color except I just use a little bit less so it's just a lighter brown okay so that's what I'm going to go in to make um, like this part of his body okay Avery please All right, so I'm going to carefully come in here and we're going to fill in the interior part here. So has anyone in here that works on cookies or has a cookie business, have you already started playing around with Easter stuff? I did some this week just to play around and see because I'm testing out a couple different things I may want to offer, um, you know, for some of my local stuff. And um, I have been pretty pleased so far with what I kind of came up with. But I'm just interested in if, if it's only been me or if other people have already ventured out to Easter. Yes, Avery is here. I'm trying to decide, this foot is way bigger than this foot, so I think I'm gonna extend it over the top there. We don't want his feet to not match, he'll look weird. Oh, you're working on St. Patty's Day? 
You know, I, for some reason, I don't know, I thought about offering just like a little flash sale or something to my local peeps for uh, St. Patty's Day, but I don't know. I feel like, I don't know if they would sell or not, and I don't know. I've been so busy that I'm like, I'm just not, I'm just going to take, take that off. I'm going to take, take St. Patty's Day off and just not deal with that. Right? I know the little hipster bunny. Y'all, so I'm going to show y'all because if you guys don't follow me yet or haven't seen, while well, we're waiting on these to dry anyway, I'll show y'all. How cute is he? He, I know everybody has one foot bigger, right? Um, how cute is he? He's one of the little ones that I worked on yesterday. And I just love how he came out. Little bitty hipster bunny. And this cutter is from the Sweet Design Shop. Pat, you're crazy. Okay. So, let's see here what I want to do. What does she mean by that? Nothing, boo. Oh, you know what I want to do? I'm going to grab the ivory really quick. And I'm going to go in here on the inside of his ears and do like a little wet on wet. I want to do like the little insides of his ears so they kind of stick out. So this is called wet on wet when you do this. Um, it's when you're putting one wet color on top of another wet color and it drives with a really smooth effect. I know Felicia, thank you. He is, he's really, really cute. I really love how he came out. Hmm. He looks like, uh, like a brown frog, like muttering. He kind of looks like a brown frog, you're right. He could be a turkey, you're right. This could be all of the feathers around. That would be a really good, um, that would be a really good flip for this too. I know the other flip they had on for the Sweet Sugar Belt was a lion's head, like the mane, and then his face, so that would be cute too. Okay, let me pop him in the dehydrator. Let me check on our other one here. So again, she's not going to be completely dry, but she's starting to crust over. It's a girl? I thought it was a boy. It's going to be a girl. But it looks like a boy right Hey, Sean. So what I'm going to do is, um, I am going to go in with this ivory color. And I thought it would be cute if we did a couple of little spots here on her head. Is that a... It's a deer. Is it... I forgot what the... Uh, yeah, so if I were going to do the same thing on this one, I would do probably everything like I'm doing now, and last I would do like the black rimmed glass, or it, you know, whatever color rimmed glasses you'd want to do, but you could do the same thing too. Yeah, it's a dark spot. It's from this, this marker earlier. I touched the end of the marker on it. Is that a pond? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to show you also, while we're waiting on the white part to dry over a little bit more, um, I hardly ever use tips, but sometimes I do. So tonight I'm using, um, it's tip number 18. It's a sunny side up tip. Um, and I was going to do a cute like little flower here and then a little leaf with it on her head. So while we're waiting on her face to dry a bit, we'll do that. So um, I'll do one off to the side and kind of show you what I do. Oh, you kept trying to, I know, right? You're probably like, what is that on my screen? Um, so what I do, I'm going to scoot this up a bit. This is just like a little star tip. So this is what, if you can see that, that's what it looks like when it comes out. Um, when I do it as a flower, I like to start, and as I'm putting pressure, I swirl it around, okay, and then release, and that makes kind of like a little, a little, like a little flower, a little rosette type flower. So that's that's a really easy one to start out with if you are not real familiar with flowers. That's one that you can definitely start with and you can perfect that pretty easily. Hey Suzanne. You know what Suzanne, I need to get back with you because I was really busy yesterday and I saw your message. Um, so I'll get back to you. I'll try to reach out to either tonight or tomorrow morning. Hopefully I don't forget again. If I do, shout at me. Okay, so you saw how easy that was, right? Just 
you start, I start like in the center, I give pressure, and then I just swirl around. So there's, um, nope, not tonight. So, yes. So now what I'm going to do is I change it up on Carrie a little bit. She's probably like, what? Because she helps me out getting my stuff ready for my lives. Um, yes, Melanie, it does. So the difference between the white that I used here around the bottom part of her face, that was flood. Um, this white is a piping consistency, so it's much thicker, so it can hold its shape. Um, I changed the green up a little bit. I was going to use um, forest green, but I'm actually thought, you know what, we're doing like a woodland type feel, a different kind of look. So I went with moss green, and plus I hadn't got to play around with this color too much yet. I had ordered it a couple months ago. Um, it's by Americolor, so I thought that would be pretty to use. So we're going to use this for the leaf. And I'm going to show you really quick a different way if you've never seen this before. Yes, it's tip number 18. You know, you, you probably can't see it through the bag. But it's tip number 18, 1 8. And that is a sunny side up tip from Hobby Lobby. Mom, speaking about. Can you give me one minute? Okay, I'm going to show you all how to cut a bag a little bit different if you haven't seen this. And it helps make like a leaf tip. So if you don't have a leaf tip or you don't want to use a leaf tip, you just want to use tipless bags, um, I will show you how to do that. So, um, on most tipless bags, you'll have, if you can see here, you'll have one seam on the bag, okay? Normally, when you're cutting the bag just to have a rounded tip on the end, you want to have that seam facing up when you cut. That'll give you a more rounded end of the bag for your icing to come out of. However, when you're going to be doing a tip like I'm getting ready to do, I turn it so that the seam is on the side, okay? And then what I do is, you come down here on the end, and you're going to cut an inverted V into the end of the bag. So I will do that and then I'll lift it up and I'll show you kind of what that looks like. Okay, so if y'all can see that, you cut it where it has like an inverted V in the end. Okay? Looks like a, looks like a big man. So then what you do is when you go to pipe, you want to turn your bag back over to where the seam is facing up. Okay, so if I were holding this in my hand, getting ready to pipe, the seam is going to be facing opposite of the inside of my palm. And I will try to do this. Let me move this cookie because I don't want her to get messed up. Okay, so when I have it facing up, you're going to start giving it pressure and squeezing it out. And you're going to see it's creating just like a leaf tip does. Do you all see that? It's giving you that center shape that is, let me lift that up a little bit. Maybe y'all can see it instead of me zooming way in. So can you see how it makes that leaf shape just like a metal tip would? But you can do that without having to use a metal tip. You can just use your tipless bag. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank you. So that is what I'm going to do with this one. So I thought we would add maybe one or two little leaves here. That would be cute. So I'm going to come right up against the flower. And if you kind of go up and down like this with the bag as you're applying pressure, it'll give you a little bit more of a ruffled look on the leaf. And I'm going to turn this a bit. It actually looks like a realistic leaf. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's her little leaves and her flower. You're having trouble with tipless bags bursting. Um, what brand have you used, Elaine? Because I will tell you that um, some brands that I've used off Amazon, especially ones that come from maybe overseas from like China, um, they're not made the best. Everybody's going to have their own opinion on this. Just I know that I've had those burst on me. Um, I use a few different brands now. I love the ones from Bees Baked Art Supplies. We have links to all of these. Um, on our product page. Um, I really like the ones from Truly Mad Plastics and I have been using the ones, these all the ones I'm using tonight are from Grunderfully Delicious um, and I've been pretty pleased with those as well. That's the only one I think we may not have a link to on our site. But the Bees Baked Art and the Truly Mad Plastic, we do have that. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you that. The leaf consist. this is um, piping consistency. For the leaf as well because you always want it to be a little bit thicker because you want it to hold its shape 
If I were to do that with flood, it would just come out and be a big blob. It wouldn't hold any kind of shape there. So you definitely want it to have some definition. Okay, I'm gonna touch on the white here to see, and it seems somewhat dry. I have fuzzies or something on here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, um, in the interest of time, normally what I would do is I like to use um, the Sugar Art makes um, a powdered colors that you can mix into like royal icing, you can put them through airbrushes, you can do all kinds of things with them. Hey Robin, um, normally I like to take them dry and color the cheeks on animals and things like that, like a little blush cheek look. Um, tonight I'll probably just use the airbrush just because this is not super duper dry. So I don't want to, you know, press a, a brush down into the surface of it. So let me grab an airbrush color real quick. Can I sit down there, please? Sorry, Avery's in here with me tonight. She's she's excited, I guess. Okay, so I figure what I'm going to do is, uh, Tracy says, I've had problems cutting my bags. I love tipless bags, and as I feel like going back to tips. Um, so, Tracy, one of my biggest things I'll tell you with that was, A, finding a good brand that were made well, um, and B is just practicing with them. Um, they're just a different beast altogether than, you know, putting tips in bags and stuff. It took a little bit of an adjustment when I first started using them, but once I got used to them, they're the only thing that I use. I Most of that is because I'm lazy and I don't want to wash tips, so there's that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I would my whole thing is just practice with it and get a feel of you know, of, of using them. And some people will never, ever like them. They try them and they say, they're just not for me. So, you know, um, Tracy says, can I ask what consistency you like to use? Most of the time I use one consistency. So if you saw me flooding, I just use like a medium flood. I don't count my icing, so I can't really tell you how many seconds it would be. If I had to guess, I would say probably anywhere between a five and 10 second icing, depending on the day and the weather and everything else that affects it. Um, but yeah, I don't count my icing, but most of my consistencies, unless I'm doing detail work, like flowers or things like that, they're all like a medium flood. So when we're going to airbrush her cheeks, I'm going to use, this is Pinch of Pink by the Cookie Countess. This is airbrush color by them. And I'm going to put just a tad here in my airbrush machine. Um, Tracy, definitely either give Truly Mad Plastics a try. They have really good ones. Or um, Bees Baked Art. And the Bees Baked Art bags um, are thicker. They are, to me, a little bit more sturdier than all the others I've used. So you might want to give them a try, too. And they're, they're all priced really well. Okay. So I said I wasn't going to use my airbrush machine, but I got it out anyway. So this is uh, my airbrush machine. I added just really a tiny bit, it's like maybe a drop worth of that pinch of pink color into the well of my gun here. Yes, Patty, um, do you mean when it's completely dry? Um, when it's completely dry, it still has a soft bite. It's not rock hard, um, but it's not gonna be super soft like buttercream because that's royal icing just isn't like that. Um, oh yeah, the, the consistency, I just use like a medium flood consistency. I don't count my icing, so I can't tell you precisely how many seconds it is, and that changes by the day anyway due to, you know, the weather that day or whatever's going on, but I usually use like a medium flood for most everything I do other than detail work, and then that's always a little bit thicker. That's going to be like a piping consistency. Um, you know what, Brianna? Our, when it's raining, on days when it's raining, I either pop mine in the dehydrator for just like 10 or 15 minutes to really help some of that moisture come out and them dry a little bit faster and crust, or I put a fan in front of them. Um, because when it is really rainy and stuff outside, it affects my icing, you know, more so obviously when it's not, because most of the time it's pretty dry around here. So I'm going to come in here and I'm barely going to pull back my trigger. I only want just a little bit and I'll pick up the cookie and show you because it's not going to show as much on camera as it would in person. So all I did was, so you can see, I just gave her some rosy little cheeks there. Okay. 
I just wanted it very, very light. Very light, just enough to give her a touch of something. And that's all I did with that. So you can see it doesn't take much at all. Like I said, if I, a lot of times I'll use the, and I'll show you what I usually use. Um, this is what I've been using on a lot of mine lately. And I really like it. It comes out with pretty much the same look. Um, this is by the Sugar Art. And this is the color Camellia. Or Camellia, I don't know how they pronounce it. But um, it's a really pretty pink color. And it does pretty much that same color. It gives you that really good like little rosy cheek look. And they're here in Texas. They're here in Dallas, Texas. All of their um, powders are 100% FDA approved. They're kosher. So they're really great. You can mix them into royal icing. You can dilute them with like vodka, Everclear, water. Um, you can run them through airbrush machines. Um, you can paint with them. So they have a lot of different uses there. Thank you. Okay. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is, um, Donna says, for better control, is it best to use a smaller amount in a small bag? It really just depends on what your comfort level is. Most of the time, I'll tell you, if you can see like how much is in this bag, maybe this or tab less is what I'm most comfortable with. When I get too small of an amount, like this is still okay too, but if I have too small of an amount in the bag, it's not comfortable in my hand. So it really just depends on what your comfort level is. Some people are more comfortable with less or more or whatever they're comfortable with. So it's really just up to the individual. Um, is it on your site? Which one, Belinda? Which one's on my site? Are you talking about the cutters? Can you please stop? Okay. So let's finish up while I wait on Belinda Tommy. We're going to finish up um, a couple details here on her face because I'm going to do it very, very gently because I'm going to be using um, a black edible marker. Um, and we ha I think we have some links to different ones I have on here. I have a bunch of different ones. These particular ones, I don't even, I think these are um, food doodlers. Food doodlers, if you look those up, I don't, we may have a link on our page. I'm not sure if we do or not, but I have a few different brands, but you know, a black is an edible marker is a black edible marker. So, oh, the powder. Um, you know what? I don't know if we have it on the site or not. After the live is over, if Carrie doesn't get to it before me, I'll throw the link into their website and you can check it out because they have a ton of colors and they're really versatile. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. Like I said, I'm going to do this very, very lightly because this icing is barely crusted. And I'm going to go in here and add just a couple little eyelashes on both sides and when I'm doing this I am barely barely applying any pressure it is the very lightest amount of pressure because I don't want to puncture the icing because just that very top layer is crusted over so I'm using a very very light hand when I do this so I'm going to come down here Ideally, I would wait until these were dry to do this part, but, you know, we're not going to be here all night waiting for this to dry. Okay. Oh, I was talking about the sugar art, Carrie. I don't think we've ever put any links into the sugar art for the powders that I use. Um, I know we put the link in on another live I did about it, a Happy Mail live, but I don't know, um, I don't think we've added them to the product page yet. So if you want to toss that link here in the comments for them, they can find that. So what do you think of our little deer hair? She's cute, right? I thought it would also be cute if you wanted to mix it up. You could even do a couple, you know, different deers in the same set. You could do like a little, um, a whole thing across her head of floral in different colors like if you were using pastels you could do like a white or a baby pink or you know anything like that but she's cute okay let's check on our hedgehog here and he's probably dry enough that we can do some detail stuff on him now oh yeah you could definitely make it more um you know, manly or boy-like if you want, or however you want to put that. You could definitely do that. You could do the insides of the ears. 
you know, with just a tan color and take off the florals and no eyelashes. You could make boys and girls, all kinds of fun stuff. Okay. Okay, so let's see. We're going to finish out um, our hedgehog here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go back in with this ivory color that we were using. And I am going to make... This is like his little mouth nose area. Okay. Oh yeah, this could definitely be a Rudolph. Or the what's the girl's what's the girl um deer's name on Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer? Clarice, I think is her name, right? You could make this into a Clarice with a Rudolph at Christmas time. I mean, just really a bunch of different things you could do with that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with black. And I think I've already cut the, yeah, I already used black. Um, I'm going to go with black and we're going to add his eyes because I'm going to give this just a couple minutes to set up a bit. And for his eyes, I'm going to do some little, kind of little ovals here. Okay. And then I'm going to go in and add just a tiny little drop of white on the eye. Get my white going here. Okay, so there's his little eyes. And then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in with this inside lighter brown color that we used for the body. And I'm going to add some little arms here. So... Okay. There's some little arms on him. You could even go in if you wanted. Another thing that I would probably do, which he's not quite dry enough to do this, but what I might do is um, after this outside brown is all completely dry, you could go in with, let me see if I can find a good brush to show you. Um, it doesn't really matter. Any kind of like stiffer brush, right? You could go in with a dry brush and go in with the same brown color after this is all dry. And you could put a little bit on around where that is and kind of go in and, st I don't know what the right word you want to use is, but you would kind of just press the, the brush in with that color and it gives it a really cool textured look. So if you wanted to give him more of a texture, kind of like you'd see on a hedgehog or a porcupine, something like that, you could go around and do that as well. If I were to start doing that now, the icing's still wet underneath, so it would puncture it and it would mess it all up. But that's definitely something that you could do there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go in here and add a little nose. And I know this is still super wet, but we're going to do it anyway. Stifle. Yes, that's, and you could see, you probably hear me, I, that almost came out of my mouth, but I was like, is that the word I'm wanting to use right now? I don't know. Stifling. Yes. See, I was right. I should have just said it. Stifling. Okay. So if you saw, I added, I just added a little black nose there and gave him like a little reflection mark. Um, normally what I would do, I'd probably go in and do some more details with black marker, but we're going to try something with some black icing. And I'm going to do this very carefully. Oh yeah, there's Sweet Sugar Bell, Suzanne. Um, it's from the Animal Shapeshifter set. It's one of her new sets. I'm going to come in here, and this is not a real fine, fine opening on this, but I'm going to be very careful. And we're going to add a little mouth here. Okay, so there's his little mouth. So when I did that, um, I'm using the same black I use with everything else, but it's not cut super, super small. It's still, you know, cut open a bit bigger. So what I did was I did not give it any pressure at all. I basically just let the icing naturally, gradually come out the end of the bag um, to give him a little bit finer with his mouth there. I didn't want to, 
and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give them a couple tiny little dots here. And I'm not giving the bag any pressure at all. I'm just letting the icing come out and touch the surface there. Okay. Yes, flower box is super, super fast. I think when I ordered from here, I got mine like two days later. She's super fast at her shipping, which I appreciate. So what do you guys think of him? Sounds like Avery's getting in trouble back here. What do you guys think? Cute, right? These would be super cute for like a little baby shower set, anything like that. You can add all kinds of different things to him. You could, I mean, he's not super dry, so I'm not going to do a ton of details on him. But like I said, I'd probably do the stifling. I'd probably go back and do something like that just to make that stand out so you can really tell what he is. Um, but yeah, you could do all kinds of stuff. You could make this into a girl. You could add like a little bow up here. Um, you know, if you want to be a girl, you can add eyelashes. There's all kinds of different things that you could do to transform it as well. But anyway, I want to show you guys some of the, just a couple of ideas of the fun stuff you can do with the, the new Sweet Sugar Bell cutters. So I hope you guys had fun. Again, if you're interested in our cookie crew, our doors are going to be closing here in just a few days until the next month. Um, so if you're interested in that, we're going to be working on Easter designs next month. Um, so all the information for that is on our website. Um, it's a great group to be in. You get free cookie cutters included. So, you know, that's always a bonus too. And they're custom cutters, um, that we design ourselves and make. So, um, but yeah, any, oh yeah, the chocolate jimmies, that would be super cute too, to give it like the texture. Yeah, you could definitely do that. <gasps> Kelly, what'd you get in the mail today? Your cutter. Oh, guys, I wanted to mention, too, if you guys have not seen it, um, we have a really cute number set that we designed and came out with. Um, every one of them say, actually, I have one here. It's in a bag because it's from our last tutorial, but um, they're look who's, and it's like look who's turning one, two, three, four, five. So we have them one through five. Um, I think we have a couple sets on our website up for sale that come with the matching stencil. And we also have, I think, five sets for sale without the stencil that you could just, you know, use your Pico or hand do if you wanted to. But if you guys are interested, we have those on the website as well if you wanted to order those. And they're pretty much ready to go. They'd be shipped out right away. So um, that's there too. So if you want to check that out, we have those available. <gasps> Yay! I can't wait to see when you make it, Kelly. It's going to be so cute. Okay, y'all. Does anyone else have any other questions for me? If you don't, I think we're going to wrap this up tonight. All my cookie crew members, I'm excited. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow night for class. And everyone that's already signed up for the new month, as soon as the class is over, probably tomorrow night. If not, then it'll be by Friday morning. We'll have everybody added into our group on Facebook. So you guys will get to get in there and dig around and see all the cool stuff that we have for everybody. So, all right. So you guys have a great night. And I will see my cookie crew tomorrow night. You guys have a great night. Bye.